Hey, welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Uh, this time, a bit different. Uh, we are now on our new boat, and I'm steering so I don't crash it. Uh, we got it from lock 42 at Apley Bridge. We've just done our first lock. We've got three swing bridges to do. We've got to go through Parbold, down the seven locks at Rufford, and into our marina at Fettler's Wharf. So we'll take you along for the ride. When I can stop, I'll show you the boat. quite get to start this episode how I wanted to um, ideally I'd have showed you the boat first but we had to move it off the mooring and we had to get all the stuff out of the car into the boat and then we had to move the car so it all ended up a bit of an ordeal and we had to get going because it was going to be a five and a bit hour trip to get to the mooring so but with I mean at the moment it's great it's weird having such a longer boat in front of me but she handles really well and uh, it didn't take me very long to get used to it it's also really nice to have the engine, although we love the uh, the chugging noise of Tiny, it's so much nicer to have a little quiet engine, which is good, and uh, yeah, just trying to figure it all out at this point really. half past five uh, we're on the first lock of the Rufford branch we'll uh, hopefully make the time and be back at the marina for seven something I wouldn't think it'd be much after eight uh, when I can and I get off the boat I'll show you the new boat and uh, I'll explain everything that's happened in the last week Rain's eased off a little bit. We're on the next to last lock, seven o'clock. So we should be in the marina for half past seven. Then it's beer o'clock. So there we go. That's the end of the episode. We've managed to get to the mooring. The weather's not been kind. As you can probably see behind me, the weather's still not been very nice. The boat is a harbour boat, 50 foot semi-trad, uh, 1993 been owned for the last 20 years by an absolutely fantastic couple called Alan and Linda if you're watching hello and thank you once again and yeah we love it absolutely love it we looked at all kinds of boats we've looked at um you know boats that need a little bit of work we've looked at high-end boats that supposedly need no work and every boat no matter what we looked at we found water damage or 
you know, whatever it was, you know, you stepped on the floor and the fridge opened. There was always something wrong with boats. One had a shed door cut down um, to fit the cratch and they wanted serious, serious money for these boats. This boat, the second we stepped on it, it just felt right. I'm not a really feely person. That's just not me. But this boat, th th this boat just feels right. I'm not worried about anything on it. I'm really not that you know, I, I don't know why I've got that feeling. That's really odd. When we got tiny, we we was a little bit nervous. With this boat, it just feels right. And we're absolutely loving it. Next week, we'll do a tour so you can see exactly what we've got. Um, when we sold tiny, the first person who's seen a barter, which was great. Uh, since then, we've probably had close to 100 people contact us trying to buy tiny. A lot of that's down to uh, our boat UK, Giles and uh, Hugh and Giles. Uh, I'll put the contact details below. They did such a fantastic job on Tiny, and I'm sure that's why she sold. Um, we also had a lot of good work done by Wayne the mechanic. I'll put a link to him down below as well. He's the person who took uh, the engine out of Tiny, did all the work on it, which was great. Um, yeah, and the you know the same same group of guys are coming back out to Harriet Ann, and you know we'll we'll keep working with them people and they'll keep doing amazing work. So as always, please like and subscribe. We'll be back at Wednesday at four for the boat tour. Bye for now.